The next adventure for the Jones and Four miniseries takes us to Canada. Well, just over the border in Canada to Lake Erie. Lake Erie is one of the Great Lakes, and the Great Lakes are the largest freshwater lakes in the entire world. Lake Erie is one of the smallest one of these lakes, being 241 miles long by 57 miles wide. Its average depth is 62 feet. Now, depending what basin you are in, the depth changes. An average depth on one side is 24, in the center 60, and in the other 80 feet deep. Lake Erie is the 12th largest lake in the entire world, but where we're fishing, we're taking the small island of Healy Island. It's a 10,000 acre lake with a farming community and houses along the outside. It has about 300 permanent residents. Now, Lake Erie has 2,000 shipwrecks. That's 2,000 out of the 8,000 that the Great Lakes hold. Well, let's go see if the fish are biting and if the fishing's hot. Let's go see if we can catch some. Day one. Uh, I drove over here, right, uh, about an eight hour drive from my house in Wisconsin, about eight and a half to Leamington. And from there, I met up with Tim and Richard for some lunch, saw each other's kayaks, and we started uh, buying all the supplies because the cabin we're going to, right, we're, there was no food there. We could, it was just, you know, a cabin. So we bought all the food, got everything set, and then we drove off uh, and waited for the ferry. Loaded up the ferry and then headed out for an hour and a half boat ride to Peely Island. It's a small island, about seven miles long, about three or four miles wide, and just a very retro island, if you want to call it retro, because uh, it just takes you back about 30, 40 years, and just very friendly again, um, but very quiet island. Now it was windy, winds were blowing pretty good, but thankfully, we, and you're on an island, you could find a place that's protected from the wind, and we did. Let's see, we're gonna go after walleye, we're gonna go after some bass, we're gonna see what's biting. A big blue, it's about an hour and a half boat ride out here. We're ready to catch some fish. Lake Erie has not disappointed us. So far with a couple sheep head and a small mouth, we are headed in from the wavy conditions to go a little bit more inshore where it is calmer, 
shallower and we're hoping we can catch more fish. Are you jonesing for your own adventure? Well then make sure you set yourself up with the jonesing gear. That's right, get yourself a bending branches paddle. You can't go wrong, light as a feather and it slices through the water like butter. Mm 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 good. And you need yourself some tail and toads gear, protect yourself from the sun. Don't risk sunburn, protect yourself, breathable, light, amazing gear. And Yakima racks are on top of your car, your truck, you're hauling this up. I go cross country. You've seen my videos, we go crazy. And I trust my Yakima racks to take my kayak safely and top my Prius all over the country. Excellent stuff. And of course, Tommy head jigs, you wanna rig them tight and haul them in nice and strong. That thing will hook them and you won't be worried about losing them. That's Tommy head jigs. Awesome stuff right there. And of course, you have questions, you have concerns, you wanna check out where things are, go to yakangler.com, your kayak fishing ultimate resource. Can't beat it. Friendly folks, I'm on there. Say hello to me on uh, yakangler.com. And oh yeah, one last thing. You want to make sure you're able to paddle or pedal your way uh, in your kayak for your adventure. Well, check out Jones in to get fit and we can help you make sure you are healthy and set and ready to rock and roll so you can check out things like this. Be ready for your next adventure.